Hey, I'm Marie Poulin and I host Notion's weekly office hours. And last week we got some really great questions when people heard Tiago and I mention Text Expander and Alfred. And so Text Expander is a tool that I have been using for many, many, many years and I can't live without it. In fact, I recently just got a new MacBook and it was probably one of the first things that I installed right after 1Password. So Text Expander is an awesome tool. It's not just for Notion, but I want to show you some of the ways that I've been using it within Notion and um, some of the ways that it can help speed up your workflow. It really is a magical tool. There are other similar tools like Text Expander. That's just the one I've known and used for many, many years, and I love it so much. So I'm just going to jump in and show you some of the ways that I use it. So anything at all that you type in over and over and over again is something that you can transform into a snippet in Text Expander. So, a great example of this is your email. So, how many times in a single day do you type out your email or copy paste your email? I almost never type out my email. I simply type out semicolon em1 for one email and semicolon em2 for another email. I have three different emails um, business email, personal email, Gmail, that sort of thing. Another thing that I do this for is whenever I have to type in my full address into a form, I just type in semicolon home and that will spit out the full address. And uh, I'll just jump in here and show you a few of them. If you work online, you probably have a lot of different links that you need to access pretty often. I have a ton of affiliate codes for different software that I use. So most of the affiliate codes have a, an A at the beginning of them. You can set up your own shortcuts. So uh, for me, I just base this on something that I'm going to remember easily. So I know that an affiliate code always starts with an A. And you'll notice that, uh, again, I've chosen semicolon because it's very rare that in your natural writing you would ever have a semicolon followed by a letter without a space in between them. So it, the idea is that you're trying to avoid um, using anything that you might accidentally expand when you're typing. I use this for all of my Calendly booking links. So if I just want to say, hey, you know, shoot me a quick, uh, let's chat, you know, 20 minutes, I, I will just type in semicolon cal 20. And that spits out a link to my Calendly booking link where someone can very quickly book 20 minutes to chat with me. And I do this for all of my different availabilities. Also do this for my Zoom room. I just type in semicolon Z O O and that opens up my Zoom room automatically in the browser. So again, these snippets work in any different tech that you're using on your computer, that you can use them in emails, you can use them in Notion, wherever you need to. Text Expander works across all different um, technologies and apps that you're using on your computer. With clients, um, there's probably a ton of times where you've said the same sort of thank you or sorry I'm not available. So that's another easy way to um, put some of those auto responder snippets in place. For example, some emails. So I have a project planner that I might send someone. Uh, this one's an old one, but just to show you what that looks like. So if I type in semicolon pro, it's gonna spit out this. So semicolon pro, and I can say, hey Linda, nice to meet you. And again, this is part of Text Expander that you can auto populate that area and I can click OK. And you can see this is what it looks like with all the links in there. Um, now, this would be something that I would um, do in email. So that's not something that I uh, actually need in uh, Notion. And uh, same thing with thank yous. Anytime you have a, a thank you over and over again, I would put those in there. Um, there's some you know fancy bullets and things like that, uh, emojis, any kind of uh, phone numbers. If I want Ben's phone number, I can just type that in without having to remember it. Um, my Google um, spreadsheet budget, I can just type in semicolon GB and that will automatically open that. Calendly links, lots of HTML stuff in here, um, HTML and CSS stuff. You can see there's there's a ton in there. Icons and images. So this is one way that when I'm in Notion and I want to um, add a new image, and that is switched up. 
So that's a that's one way to kind of switch things up and get some consistent icons as you're going through your stuff. Again, I find sometimes when I have to provide a bio with my photograph, that's something I can include as a snippet. Hash, um, hashtags within Instagram. So if there's uh, tags that I use pretty often, I can just type in IGGAR and that will spit out all of my permaculture tags here and things like that. Same with um, user experience design tags in Instagram. And again, this um, you can have it synced up between your phone and your desktop. So lots of different ways that you can use this. Um, one interesting way you can use it is for meeting minutes. And again, you can kind of um, there's a lot of customizations in here that you can do, but let me let me delete a few of these because it's it's not often that I would do this sort of meeting minutes. But you can see it uses a bit of markdown, so this is going to be an H3 tag. This is going to be bold. And so to show you what that looks like, if I type in dot meet. Frank, Ben, Carol, okay. And so you can see Frank, Ben, Carol issues, Frank, Ben, um, and those get uh, auto-populated here. So again, just in a few keystrokes, you're able to um, spit out any kind of you know templates and items that you use over and over again. I know that Notion still has its uh, amazing you know template button here where you can do that sort of thing. But again, what's nice about these text expander snippets is again they work across all apps that you're using, um, URLs, that sort of thing. So another example is um, for our Notion office hours. I type in CC is always the beginning for any Crowdcast events. That's super easy to remember. So semicolon CC and then NO for Notion. And that automatically opens up Notion's Crowdcast homepage here. And so again, any other URLs that you need to use over and over again, um, I can even do this for my own, uh, my own URL. There we go. If I type in semicolon name, that will spit out my name. If I want to include my Dropbox images here, I can say create bookmark. My two variations there. And so then I've got my headshots, I've got my information there. And again, this could easily be done in an email. Um, and yeah, your bit.ly links. Um, and as you go to text expander will suggest certain snippets to you of like words that you use over and over again. So in notion here, um, someone told me about this, buy me a coffee website. So I can, <laughs> I can say, BM and uh, create a bookmark or just dismiss it and leave it as a link and then you can click on that and buy me a coffee. So that's those are just some of the ways that I use um, text expander. I'm sure as you get a feel for it there, you're going to notice that there are so many other amazing ways to use it. Um, this is just what works for me. Any kind of, again, project planning, communication that you send over and over again, um, anytime you are typing something out more than once, you're definitely going to want to make a snippet for it. And then that way, the next time you type in your lovely shortcut, that is just going to automatically spit out exactly what you want. And there's all sorts of other interesting um, use cases too, where you can do fill-ins, you can do, um, you know, menus, you can do single line fields, you can do bulleted lists and tables and things like that. So definitely explore that and uh, see what interesting use cases you can come up with.